Hi, if you like science, experiments, or games, then you're in the right place. Because today we're going to be talking about the physics of flight and how it even applies to different airplanes. And then we're going to be setting up an obstacle course. A little shooting gallery of sorts for all of our paper airplanes. Planes are able to fly because of two things mostly. One, there's the curve of the wing that allows more wind to travel over the top of the wing than the bottom of the wing. And this is called Bernoulli's principle. Each wing is shaped like an airfoil which allows the wind to travel in this way. As this happens, the wind allows the paper airplane to pull upwards, increasing the angle of attack. Which means that more wind will hit the bottom of the wing than the upper part of the wing, causing even more lift. When you're taking off, you want this increased lift, but not when you're just in normal flight. During normal flights, airplanes are able to fly exclusively on the Bernoulli's principle alone. Most planes have some sort of a stabilizer on the side as well. If the plane encounters turbulence, meaning there's more pressure on one side of the wing than on the other, or on the top, or on the bottom, then these stabilizing flaps are what helps the plane react in the smoothest way possible. That's how our jet fighters work, that's how our Boeing 747 works, and yes, that's how today's paper airplanes are going to fly. Now, originally we intended this course to be some sort of a shooting gallery where we had these awesome little fake flintlock pistols we made up. If you're into movie props like I used to be, this might be a build that you're interested in. We took some 3 quarter inch PVC pipe, a 45 degree angle coupler, connected them together, taped half a pool noodle to the bottom to add some extra roundness and depth like where the wood would be, paper mache the outside, and then spray painted and hand touched up where necessary. Originally this was designed to catapult our paper airplanes forward, but we found that these little hooks that we put on the bottom would grab onto the rubber band upon release and therefore made it less efficient than actually just throwing it ourselves. So actually what we're going to be doing today is a little bit more of a throwing gallery, so it's still set up and just as fun as a normal shooting gallery. Each contestant will have 90 seconds and 50 planes, five of which are the multiplier planes, meaning that they have five times the value of the normal plane. Going through the hoops is worth 15 points. Hitting the turbine is worth 25. Hitting any cup anywhere is worth 10. Hitting into the plates can be worth anywhere from 10 to 50 points. Making it into the cup centerpiece is worth 30. And making it in the basket is worth 10. Now let's get to the fun. Three, two, one, go. Josh, what are you doing? 10 seconds. I can't hit him. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you like what you saw, then go ahead and like and share this video. If you want to see more, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you have any ideas for any future topics or demonstrations or experiments that we can do, go ahead and link to it in the comment section below. And we'll see you next week. We're going to be talking more about tide pools. See you guys then.